Okay, hopefully this is not too boring, no pun intended. What is a geotech report and why is a geotech report important for your construction project? Well, uh, in this case, we had a geotech report done by SEC Solutions here in Austin, Texas for two houses we were building. And a geotech report is uh, conducted by a licensed engineer and they basically give you an overview of foundation recommendations based on the soil conditions on your site. So in this case, we had the option to do a conventionally reinforced slab or a post-tension slab. They describe the project in terms of the loads they expect, and they also go over the site geology and provide a soil map. They also will do a visual inspection while they are doing a geotechnical boring, so when they're digging down in the dirt. And in this case, they found no evidence of groundwater. So that was good. Uh, as you'll see, water is very important as it relates to soil. I have the stratification of the soil, so as they bore down through the soil, it's in different layers, and they analyze those layers, and they study how those different types of soil relate to how much weight they can hold, what foundation you'll need. So as they did the borings, they'll give you this log. And in this case, they bored down to approximately 15 feet. So the first seven feet was the sandy clay. The next seven or eight feet was also clay, but it was a little different. It was a pale brown with some gravel, stiff to very stiff. And the second boring was very similar. So they take these boring um, analysis and they give you a, an effective plastic index. So they tell you how expansive your soil is based on these uh, soil conditions that they study. And then here's a boring log or cross section of the actual boring. So again, we have seven feet of that brown clay and then we have another seven or eight feet of that clay or light pale brown clay. So really the thing to understand is that a geotechnical assessment is extremely important for your structural engineer because your structural engineer takes this information and designs a slab that can both hold up your building and withstand the forces of the earth and the soil acting on that foundation. So I always recommend getting a geotech report. It will make your engineer happy and you'll have a slab that is designed for your particular site.